a large purchase such as a house or a car uh, is usually financed by a loan which is paid off with monthly installments over a number of years and the process of paying off a loan of this sort is called amortization. Okay, so for example, suppose that you borrow $10,000 to buy a car and you pay off the loan in four years. Okay, so what we're going to do is look at this transaction from two points of view. First of all, from the bank's viewpoint, the bank is making an investment in you and expects a return on its investment, which is $10,000. And ideally that investment will grow by accumulating compound interest. Okay, so we know a formula for that. A is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to the N. Okay, now your viewpoint Suppose that you take this money that you're paying the bank and you put it in an interest-bearing account every month and basically what you have is an annuity. Okay, so at the end of four years you would have had, you would have had enough money to pay off the uh, car. Okay, so we recall that the annuity formula is, well, it says A here, but that really, that letter there doesn't really matter that much. We used B before. A is equal to the annuity factor times the payment. Okay, and in the amortization scheme, in order to reconcile these two viewpoints, we just set these two amounts equal. Okay, so the amount that the bank expects, P times 1 plus I to the N, is equal to the amount that you uh, save through this annuity over that same period of time. Okay, so let's continue with this example. And we'll say that the interest rate on this auto loan that we were considering is going to be 18%, which sometimes auto loans are uh, pegged at these high interest rates. Okay, what we want to do is find the payment. Okay, so remember the loan is for four years. So in four years we have 12 months in a year times 4, 48 months. Okay, to get the interest rate per period, we take the annual rate, which is 18%, divide it by 12, and we get 1.5% or point zero one five. Okay, so now we can compute the compound amount. This is the amount that the bank hopes to recover in four years. There it is. And this allows us to calculate the payment. That works out to two hundred ninety-three dollars and seventy-five cents. 